good morning. Professor Salama asked me to make a second movie uh, explaining better our gratefulness to nursing faculty of Port Said University for giving us the opportunity to lecture a few minutes on the power of neutrosophy and on the way it came into the history of ideas. It starts farther in time to millennia ago. It starts with the um, problem of the universals as it was solved both by Plato and by Aristotle. Universalia ante rem is Platonicism. Universalia in rem is um, Aristotle's um, way of seeing. Both of them main, uh, mounted schools in Grecia. One is Lyceum, the other is Academia and uh, their ways of acting and thinking and talking and writing are expressed wisely in Raphael painting. One of them, Plato, looks at the sky with an upper gesture. The other one, more realistic, Aristotle, points to the land. Neutrosophy, as well as transdisciplinarity, appear in the 20th century and they appear as consequences of another way of seeing, a, a more modern one. It started with Abelardus and Eloisa in Middle Ages. It is conceptualism. It is, uh, its lemma is universalia post rem. Universals appear after the emerging of things. And this is the way of medicine, of healing, of diagnosing. In fact, our professor, Simone de Fonseca, our late psychiatrist, did its development in mathematical approach through cybernetics, uh, in, uh, both in America and in Portugal, and then he came to Africa to do it in Cabo Verde. Therefore, I am proud to present this uh, way of ideas nowadays in Egypt and the way it has been contained which is called transdisciplinarity, made by Bassar Abricolesco and started as a second step in Portugal in the first congress with our great artist, Lima Freitas. So we see philosophy of uh, ideas and beings versus health and diagnosing versus mathematics. In the history of mathematics, you have uh, some kinds of simultaneity. For instance, calculus was founded by Leibniz and uh, Newton at the same time, 17th century. Non-Euclidean geometry has been found, founded by uh, Riemann in Germany and Lobachevsky in Kazakhstan. Today, once again, it's um, a Muslim uh, people that uh, makes the idea of uh, tolerance or fuzziness. At the same time, as Tim Poston did his studies in Warwick, England, England the today living Professor Lofty Zadeh de developed it in Azerbaijan. So, in Muslim world, uh, the revolutions in science, or shall I say, the paradigm shifts are happening. And uh, the main consequence seems to be the way to apply sciences that neutrosophy has been put in uh, by a, a wise man. He comes from Romania, today in New Mexico, after spending some time as a refugee in Muslim world in uh, uh, Algeria. So now in Egypt, the presentation of application of neutrosophy to health is uh, nowadays uh, put in public and presented to scholars and to students of the generation. And we are grateful for the Faculty of Nursing of Port Said University to be a forerunner in this way of um, making research and making